Hi, this is Wally with Supreme Isopods. Very excited about today. We're making a trip from Sussex to Beloit to see Brittany, the isopod chick. It's kind of scary that she's so close to us that we can actually get in the car and run down there in about an hour or so and pick up some isopods. We have six isopods to grab today. And again, very excited for, to see these new isopods. The Isopod Vlog. Welcome to Wisconsin. This is about four inches of snow on top of about 10 inches of snow. Yes, our driveway still needs to be shoveled. Fun times in Wisconsin. The first isopod we're putting in is a Volgari Golden Slano. I've never worked with these before. I don't think I've worked with any of these before. So we're going to go ahead and put this one in. Beautiful little isopod. Go ahead, Danette. I love how Brittany does her cups here. It's uh, sphagnum moss. She puts a little meal in there, a little piece of carrot. Then she has the uh, bio balls in to add moisture. And we're seeing some of the isopods. Yeah, hold that one up there. See if I can get a good picture. These are really gorgeous animals. Nice light golden color on these. Beautiful, beautiful. And then that's just going to go ahead and add them to the enclosure here. We'll see if we can get a picture as they're uh, coming out. Again, very, very, very well packed. Brittany really knows what she's doing. I see a couple crawling around. And normally I would count these isopods, but I know Brittany just throws a bunch in. I'm, I'm sure our counts are correct, and knowing Brittany, she might have given us one or two extras on a couple of these. Ready for the second batch here? This is P. Vergatus. And go ahead, Nanette. Gently put them in. We see some little ones scampering off. Trying to be as gentle as we can, but again, these are these are isopods. They have a very firm shell, so I'm not too worried that we're what looks like almost dumping them in here. Okay, that's number two. Let's go on to number three. Okay. This next group is for Cilio Hasi Hasi Light. This is, uh, this is something that I've been wanting probably about a year. They're just unbelievably beautiful. Hassies are just gorgeous. These lights with a very, very creamy look to them are simply amazing. One thing that Brittany does here is she doesn't send older animals, older, uh, past their prime animals. Look how beautiful that is. Simply gorgeous. Brittany sends real young animals right in their prime. So I'm real happy about that. And this is Armadillidium depressum. This is a stout, gray, bigger isopod. And you should be able to see see them crawling around there and out of the cup. They're ready to go. Ready to get into their new homes here. And then that's going to check her fingers just to make sure they're as fast as they were crawling out of that cup. Let's make sure that we don't have any hitchhikers. Okay. 
That was number four. Here we go with number five. These are Armadolidium Nasodum Pearls. As you can see, there's a little bit of a theme going here. These pearls are just beautiful golden animals, a real light color. That was a carrot. Those are balls. And I can see the pearls just all cuddled up there. Trying as hard as we can to get a good picture of these. I think we just added them to the culture, but I'm going to show a picture so that you get a good feel for these animals. There we go. Let's let them get comfortable in their new enclosures. Okay. On to number six, and this was going to be a surprise. Wait, this isn't number six. This is, we still have two left, and I only ordered six. This is a surprise from Brittany. These are T plus, or I'm sorry, these are plus albinos. I think these are armadolidium plus albinos, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to ask her and look them up. The albinos are, are so cool. Really, really neat look to them. And guess what? They're light colored too, so we continue the theme. Very interesting. These I'm going to have to get some information from Brittany on because I know nothing, I know about the uh, Armadolidium albinos, but I'm not sure what these are. So I think it's an empty cup. I'm just joking. I'm sure they're in there. I really don't like digging around a lot with these cups. I just like to get the animals into their enclosures, let them go, don't bother them too much, and uh, check on them very, very, very occasionally. Okay, so we ordered six. Here's number seven. This is the sixth one that we ordered with Brittany adding the, uh, the additional one that we just saw. And... What's going on, Nanette? You're putting your hand over it. So what is this, Nanette, a secret? Yes, this is a big secret. So we're not going to show these at all? Not tonight. Well, what, what's the reasoning there? Is this just building some suspense? Yeah, I think it should. All right, if, if that's what the boss wants, that's what the boss gets. So we're going to put all of these animals away and this, we'll call it number six for us. We're going to put them away, and I guess we're going to show a video in the future, if that that's what Nanette wants. Good idea. All right. Thanks for joining us today, and uh, hopefully we can show that sixth one pretty soon, if Nanette lets me. Thanks for watching.